Greetings to all parents and children of Tatika Methodist. We are so glad to be able to share this with you. First, we want to thank God for looking after all of us. Since we started online lessons in May for the MCO period, God has been watching over all of us and God has kept us safe. Tarika Methodist also, during this period, have tried to reach out to some of our fat children and family members that have fallen sick because of COVID. But we thank God we are all well now. We want to thank you parents also for your cooperation for this uh, few months of online studies. And we are thankful that we have a close to 90% of attendance for each class. Thank you so much, parents. We are also thankful that the COVID numbers in Selangor and Klang Valley is coming down. And now we have, instead of EMCO, we have gone on to phase two. And because of that, Tarika Methodist, as in all kindergartens, are allowed to start operating. However, according to the circular that's given by the MOE, only children whose parents, at least one of the parents, must be working out of the house for the child to be able to come back to school. And parents will need to give us a letter from their employer stating that they are working outside the house. Those who work from home is not counted. However, it is not compulsory for parents to send their children back to school as some families may have their own reason to choose to stay away. Because of these and various other reasons, Tadik Tak Methodist is concerned for the safety of staff as well as students will come to this decision. Tadika Methodist will start opening in-person classes as of October the 4th. This is for those children whose parents, at least one of the parents is working outside and they need to come to school. Some parents may not send their children and some parents may be sending their children. We have decided to adopt a hybrid role of teaching. What does this mean is that the Tatika Methodist teacher will be teaching online from the classroom in Tatika Methodist. She will be teaching as what she did online through Zoom with a student that are in school inside the classroom with her. Whatever she teaches will be projected on the television behind her. Whereas those students who cannot come back to school for various reasons, they will lock in for the online lesson using the same Zoom ID that we have been using these few months. We had to come to this decision because if we go totally in person, just in case in the situation that any of the student or any of the staff either comes down with COVID or becomes a close contact of a COVID-19 and need to go under quarantine, home quarantine, the class and the lessons still remain. If the teacher needs to go on home quarantine for whatever reason, she will just teach from home. And if any student needs to be home quarantined for any reason, they can just choose to participate in the lessons from their home. This is to ensure that education for our students continues uninterrupted. There will be some changes in the SOP for those children who come back to school. Instead of 
the teacher on duty, gate duty, coming to the car to take your child, we are asking the parents to bring the child to the black gate and have the temperature taken. And if the child does not have any fever, the child will be handed to the teacher and you'll be ushered into the classroom. Because we would like our staff to have minimal contact with parents as well. At least for the start in October, the online classes will still be from 9.30 to 11.30. Of course, on Tuesday, it will be until 12 for the story time. And on Friday, it will be until 12 also for the kids' praise time. But we understand that parents who need to work will possibly need to send their children earlier in the morning. So the gates of Tarika Methodist will be open from 8 a.m. onwards. Parents can leave their children with us at 8, 8, from 8 to 9.30. There will be staff in the class to help your child either in reading or in activity. Okay. And please ensure that your child has a full breakfast either at home or they can bring their breakfast in a container and have it in class because once the class starts at 9.30 all the way to 11.30, there will not be any break. This is also to minimize unnecessary contact. The online lesson will end officially at 11.30 a.m. And of course, on Tuesday and Friday at 12, and then after which parents will need to come and pick up their children. Okay, we might need to look at staggered dismissal of children. Once we work up more detail, we will inform the parents accordingly. The ASP after school program will be on. But we will also stack the meal time as well as bath time and so on to minimize contact. And it will be as usual until 6 p.m. In order for Tadika Methodist to plan to reopen physically on October the 4th, we would require all parents to inform the class teacher latest by this Friday, whether their child will be coming back in person. That will give us time to plan and to make further adjustment. Parents, this is what we plan for the moment. And as situation progresses, as the COVID number go up and down, there may still be changes. And we would like to keep in touch with you should there be any change. But meanwhile, remember, Tadika Methodist is a family. We want to take care of everybody. We want to make sure our teachers are safe, our children are safe, and the children's family are safe too. Let's keep healthy. Let's keep safe and all keep our faith. Thank you very much.